Hi, I'm Lukas from Klevgrend and this is One Shot. I'm here to help you get started with your own samples. And in this video, I'll show you how to set up slots, triggers, and I even show you some other cool functions. Let's go. So when I open up OneShot, it looks like this. And I have all these samples that I would love to use. To import a sample, I'll just drag it from Finder and drop it either here on the empty slot area or directly on a MIDI key. Now both a slot with my sample in it and the corresponding trigger has been created. So if I now play the C2 MIDI key, I should get some sound. Yes. The name of the slot and the keyboard key is also shown when hovering over the trigger. If you don't want to or can't drag and drop your files, you can press New Slot and Import. To import several samples, just select the ones you'd like to use and drop them in the slot area. This action will prompt this dialog asking me how I would like to import my samples. In most cases, I recommend using the automatic option. It looks at the name of the files and places them accordingly. One slot per file will separate all the files and all files in one slot will put them all in the same place. For this demo, I will use the automatic option. And the quick way to do that is to press the option key on Mac or alt key on Windows while dropping your files. So now I have all my sounds here, and if I want to change the MIDI mapping, I can just drag the triggers to where I would like them to be on my MIDI keyboard. For example, maybe I want my kick here, I want to change my tom. And as for the slots, if you want them changed around, you'll have to click and grab the little dot, then just release it where you would like it to be. Maybe you noticed that I dropped more files from Finder than are shown here in one shot. For example, I dropped five 808 snares, but I only have one slot that says 808. So where did they all go? Well, they're actually inside this slot. Let me show you. Clicking the edit button will open up the slot edit view. Here I can see all my snares sorted from low to high velocity. If I want to, I could drop additional files to the list here. The slot edit view also gives me a lot of great tools to edit my samples. For example, I can change the start and end point of each sample. There's also settings for round robin, normalize, and a bunch of other things. All right, now we have everything we need to get started, so let's make some music. Let's loop this section and start playing around with the parameters to see if we can make it sound even better. Let's pitch down the kick to bring out some more sub bass. Now I want to use some compression. And some distortion. I have a bunch of options here, so I'm gonna add this bass saturation. I also want to add some room reverb and some delay, but since I want it on everything, I'm gonna put it on my two buses. And to do that, I bring up the sense on my slots. On bus 1, I will put a large room with the mix knob all the way up with all the slots sending audio to my bus, I can now blend in my room with the fader. Let's put a slap delay on bus number two. We will make it very short, hit tempo sync. There we have the slap. I'm gonna put some final effects on my output. And I will add a bit crusher and a finalizer, which is basically like a bus compressor. Because why not add some more compression, right? All the effect parameters in one shot can also be automated.
And now I want to make a simple tom fill, but I only have my one tom sound, which brings me to maybe the most powerful quality of this plugin, in my opinion, which is that one slot can have several triggers, each with different settings. Let me demonstrate that for you. If I want to make two toms out of my one tom slot, I can either do this by dragging the dot down to an empty trigger. I can also grab the trigger and hold the Option Alt key and release it on an empty trigger. Or I can just right click and hit copy and paste. Now I have two triggers that play the same slot, in this case the tom. Clicking on a trigger will open up the trigger settings view for that specific trigger. In this view, you can edit this trigger with individual envelopes for gain, pitch, and filter. You also have some cool humanize functions and some other tools. I won't go over all of these in this video, I just want you to have seen this view. So let's pitch up this tom. If I now play these, I have two different toms based on my one audio file. Okay, so let's add some MIDI notes. All right, saving time. Now I really want to save my kit. To do this, simply click the preset browser, save as, give it a nice name. And hit save. Now you will find your preset under user presets. Note that the samples in your user presets will not load properly if you move them around on your computer. If you also save your slots, you won't risk having this problem. To do this, click edit on the slot you want to save, then save. Now you will find it under user slots in the slot browser. And there you have it! If you want a more detailed exploration of OneShot, be sure to check out the main tutorial. And head over to cleavgren.com and grab your free demo of OneShot. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting content. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. We'd love to hear from you. See you soon!